Hey there, it's Joey Passi, the head trainer for SS Soccer Academy. Today I'm going to give you the foundational beginning parts for learning any kind of move. These are the, these are the, 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 the areas, the building blocks that you need to come back to. When you're doing tricks, you need a couple foundational areas, a couple areas that you come back to every time you're dribbling. So what do I mean by that? Or sorry, juggling. What do I mean by that? You're juggling, you're doing a couple tricks. You don't want to just keep on doing your tricks. You need an area. Uh, 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 starting point. So these are your starting points and there's three different parts. There's one on the foot, there's one on the neck, and one on your head. This is for learning tricks. So I'm going to teach you the one on the foot today, how to learn it really quickly, and the one on the neck. So every time you're doing a move, these count almost as moves themselves. You go back to that and uh, all moves, almost all moves, start from these starting points. So it's going to help your tricks a ton. You have to learn these first. First one is, and side note really quickly here, learn tricks. Forget about the people who say, oh, tricks are for kids, blah, blah, blah. Learn tricks, it's gonna help your technique, it's gonna get you more touches on the ball, it's gonna improve your confidence, and it's gonna make you feel good about yourself. It's, it's gonna make you enjoy the game. I would say those are all good things. Those things are gonna help you a ton in the field. Trust me on this one. First starting point, not from the ground, ball in your hand, it's a better way to learn it. Start with the ball in your hand, put the, the ball here, so you can just get repetition stalling the ball there. That's what you want to learn. So start with it in your hand and put it into your foot and practice stalling it right here. So what I want to point out here is a lot of guys don't have good ankle flexibility, meaning they can't pull their foot back far enough. If they can't pull it back far enough, all they're stuck doing is, is literally balancing the ball just like this, which is quite hard if you ask me. If you can't really get moving around that much. What you want to be able to do is pull this toe back so you're sticking it against this the shin and it sticks really good there. So then now I have better flexibility of the ball, it's stuck there. So that you gotta just practice. Practice lifting your toe higher up so it sticks in there nice. Once you learn how to stall it there, that's the best way to learn it. Then we put it on the ground and we learn how to pull it up from the ground. All you're gonna do is put your foot on the ball at the bottom of your foot, pull it back and stall it like this. You're just gonna repeat that a couple times. Well, you're gonna keep on repeating until you get the hang. That's starting point number one for doing tricks. You have to know how to do that. And then you can practice with both feet. From there, the second one is on your neck. So, ball up here. Again, start learning how to balance it here. A lot of people try, they don't even know how to balance it here, they don't even know how to balance it here, and they try lifting it from the ground. It's hard enough lifting it from the ground, but if you get it there and you have no idea how to balance it there, it's not going to help you at all. So learn how to balance it here first, like this, and then you can learn juggling and bringing it up to your neck from there, which obviously you want to learn. So there's two things of knowing how to stop it, how to balance the ball here. First one is being able to look ahead. Look ahead. If I drop my head, immediately I lose the pocket here. So you need to be able to look straight ahead. It helps create the pocket. The second thing is I need to be able to bunch up my shoulders like this. My shoulder blades come up. So, shoulder blades come up and I got a great little pocket and it's stuck there pretty good. Okay, style points. A lot of guys lift off their arms like this and it doesn't look good. Relax your arms while keeping your shoulder blades up. My arms are more relaxed, but my shoulder blades are still up. Second thing is guys often go like this, their arms are out like this and this looks just as ridiculous. You're doing this to look good, so make sure you do it with the appropriate style. Practice on the ground of your foot, practice here. Those are the two starting points. There's a third one which is on the head, which is a little bit harder, and you can learn, I'll teach you that in another video. Start, those are the two starting points. Because every time you're doing tricks and you need a break, you come back to there, and in fact, those are tricks in themselves. You start from there, you go back to those that you do. You do around the world, you, come, you go back to stalling it. From the stall, you lift it up to your neck. From the neck, you do a couple circles, and you lift it up, and then you stall on your chest again. You gotta learn those two. Practice starting from the hand first, and then practice from lifting up on the ground, and finally lifting onto your neck. Try it, it's gonna make you feel good about yourself. It's gonna make you enjoy the game more, period. Don't forget to hit the link. Awesome, awesome drills. Gonna help your game out a lot. Lastly, guys, don't forget to like. Let me know in the comment area if you have any ideas that you want me to work out or show for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can keep on getting more content. Thanks.